Ay, badass black girls, and they making big moves. Ay, badass black girls, nothing that you can't do. They are the future, I'm trying to tell you. They want the best, no time to settle. They got the strength to handle the pressure. Hosted by MJ and Mahalia. Yeah, yeah, changing the narrative, that is imperative. They about to rock this. Tell the women that you got this. Got no time for people who are toxic. It's all love, good vibes. Uh, you know I got your back, girl. Talking issues that matter. This is badass black girl, yeah. Hello everybody, my name is MJ and this is Mahaya. Thank you for joining Badass Black Girl. Maybe you know us in real life or maybe you're just getting to know us today. In either case, thank you for being here. Well, we hope that you will subscribe. There is a little button at the bottom of the screen. You can click on it, subscribe, make sure you get the notifications because we will have a lot of different topics mm -hmm. for you to get involved and chat with us and exchange ideas. Mahalia, mm -hmm. you're badass. Well, thank you. What, the, what <laughs> does that even mean? <sighs> um, badass. Um, uh, I. I have different opinions on badass. I think badass, for me, um, means savoring the stillness, um, not depending on approval. I think, um, unfortunately, society now, um, people describe someone who's badass as someone who's like, depending on, you know, what you can claim you have or what you've done or whatever. But there's a lot of people, as we know, in, um, that have been like A-listers or people that are uh, supposedly living their best life who were extremely unhappy um, behind closed doors, right? So I think being badass is just having um, an inner um, badassedness, if that's a word. <laughs> Badassery. Um, Badassery. <laughs> um, and it, it, it comes from an inner strength. It comes from an inner peace. It comes from savoring the stillness. I love that. It comes from um, not, again, not needing, not having dependency for approval. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people, you know, they just like every New Year's, they're the ones doing the Instagram shot on the beach and they're saying like they're, you know, releasing, you know, negativity and they're doing all this and they have all these great buzzwords about like what doesn't serve them and blah, blah, blah. And then two weeks later, they're back to their basic old way right and um when it comes to working on yourself and working on being a better person that's a daily thing that's not that one little new year shot watching the sunrise and you're showing everyone else mm -hmm. it's it's an everyday thing um but actively doing it like every day you're making an effort and um, I also think badass is being able to walk in a room and not being like, well, I belong here or, or I'm wearing this dress. I've got my nails and hair done. You can walk into a room and everyone notices you without you being noticeable. You know what I mean? And like you're not I'm making saying. extra effort to be like, I'm here. That's what I'm saying. You're so badass. <laughs> when you enter a room, people feel it. People see it because there's this degree of confidence that comes with being a badass that is not superficial or right. artificial. It's a beautiful, it comes it's from a the deep, inside. Right, right, for it's sure. Like, um, I've known you for so many years. And one thing about you is that you are beautiful on the inside. You you know who you are. In addition to the strength, oh, you're welcome. And I, I mean every word of it. Because in addition to um, this kind of in, vibrant interior life, that someone has was badass there, there's this awareness that comes with all of it knowing who you are your place in the world a the place of others in your world right kind of knowing um how to share that space with other people right who's who and what's what and right. being present in the moment Right. being able to clearly state this is who i am right now it might be different from who i was yesterday or right. who i will be tomorrow right but this is me this is what i want 
and sometimes and doing the work you right. have to do the work like doing it, the work sometimes doing you the work, know what you stand want, in the fire the and do the healing or whatever what makes you badass i think that what makes me badass what, what is your definition of badass? my definition is the fact that i am accountable for myself mm -hmm. emotionally i've reached a point where i've stopped blaming others for what i go through emotionally mm -hmm where I own, I am you taking own ownership of my experiences, whether past, present, or future. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that that was the biggest sign of growth for me, being able to say, you know what, I'm going to be very proactive in the way I think, as opposed to reactive and depending on what people think of me, what people say to me, right. what people do to me. Right. Because, you know, you've known me forever. We've, we've talked about our past. You know that um, uh, all the issues I've discussed with you about depression and abuse and all those things, I am no longer willing to let them define me right. unless is to help me get a better um, outlook on what's coming up next. Right. And I think that's my definition of being a badass. Because you, I remember earlier you were saying, well, does anything ruffle your feathers? Do you ever get pissed off or whatever? And no, because I won't allow anyone or anything to take me there. And that comes from many years of practicing and analyzing myself and knowing what I want influence and what I want to affect me. Yes. Right? So, and a lot of times it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with the other person. So therefore, whatever issues the other person has, I can't let that like torque me out, unravel my whole day. It has nothing to do with me. But that comes from knowing yourself yes. and, and having that stability to realize, no, this isn't about me. This is all, right. this is you and that's okay but you're I don't need to absorb your issues and I think that's a deeper badassery as you <laughs> called it because right. I think unfortunately society focuses more on the surface like surface badass whoever's you know you have to be super this you have to have so many likes you have to you know you've got like the the, the look the makeup is right that you actually don't have to do any of that right because a lot of that comes from insecurities mm -hmm. right so you could walk into a room and just you know you should be able to walk into a room with like a rice sack bag on and you still attract the attention like okay who is that right you don't need all that extra but some people because of their insecurities that they're not willing to address see or they're not ready to look at it a lot of people just aren't ready to look at it yeah but they Outwardly, they are badasses, right? You know, outwardly, you're like, oh my God, you've got all your stuff together. So you together. are put together. Uh, you've got this. And some of them may be super educated. Right. Super, they've got a business going on. They are that. Do, yeah. They are financially, they are spot on. Behind closed doors, different story. So we're going to have many different conversations. What it means to be a badass black girl. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about sunny South Florida, how to be a black girl in South Florida. Right. We're going to talk about marriage and divorce and kids and friendship. Everything that is important to our lives. So what as makes black us girls. care? Why yeah. do we care what you're what we're saying? Who are you? Yes. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> Who are you, MJ? My name is MJ. <laughs> I grew up in Haiti, right. moved to the United States when I was 21. Okay. And I've been in South Florida ever since. I have this love-hate relationship with South Florida like many of us do. I've been talking about leaving for the past 15 years. I'm still here. You're right. So You're enjoying the sunshine. What else? Do share, do share. <laughs> I do am a writer, us. an editor, a writing coach. Mm -hmm. um, I wear so many different hats, but they, they're all relating relating to related to writing okay and i'm also a teacher i teach writing um online in person um writing is my life and i have a very recent book out badass black girl 
and I, I I'm happy that we I'm happy that we are taking it a step further not just talking about um, teenage girls mm -hmm. but also how we um, live our lives in South Florida as badass black grown-up women right adulting adulting yes yes so um tell tell us about you mahalia who is mahalia oh I, I i have a lot of different facets so it's, it's a little bit hard to put into one thing um your mom i'm a mom your pilot i'm a pilot a i also attendant. work as a corporate flight attendant um I um, I have been writing for many years also. I'm a published author. Um, and I, I want to say like for about 12 years, I've also been, I mean, this is not a fashion statement, these these wonderful beads. This is, I, I also have been actively in meditation and um, self um, reflection. Um, so that's been a, a big thing for me. And it has been a, a big life changer for me. And I think um, self growth and personal growth and actively doing these things have been a big thing. Um, I love, I'm gonna call myself an amateur chef. You I'm are an amateur chef. You um, are an I'm gonna call <laughs> gifted chef. I'm gonna call myself, I, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy entertaining, but it, it, it's interesting because I just feel that it's about the. The attitude with it, right? As opposed to, I need to have all the perfect dishes and all the. She so walked in this bit morning with a little baggie, <laughs> and the next thing I know, we have a perfect brunch on the table. Because that's it's. It yeah. was delicious. <laughs> what it's was just, it? Well, I know there was eggs in it. There was. It was, it was fancy. It eggs. was almost like it was fancy eggs. It was like an egg souffle with like spinach and tomatoes and. There was a, a swoosh, oh wait, a spoon push of uh, feta cream and so uh, chipotle and yeah, so it was half of the ingredients, some of the ingredients were from your own cupboard that you didn't even know you had, so, um, but yeah, and a parmesan crisp, but it was good, but yeah, it's just, she's amazing, there's, there's a lot of different things that make up me, and but I think there's a lot of different things that make up you, right? Everyone is not just one thing. Some people are, but a lot of people are a lot of different things, Amen right? To that. So, um, and I feel like I'm in all directions with that, and it's it's fun, it's great, and, I, and I'm actually happy that someone cannot classify me into one area. It's all good. I'm know? looking forward to getting so. to know you even better. <laughs> It's going to be fun. It's going to okay. be so much fun, and the sure. viewers will be able to. Um, Join your conversation. Yeah. You can visit badassblackgirl.com and please subscribe. We need the support. There is a little button at the bottom of the screen. They can click right. It says subscribe right there. You can choose to receive the notifications. If you visit the website, you'll have access to all our socials and they're also in the description. description. Um, yeah. Well, you I know, mean, yeah, so. feel inspired. You know, I hope it inspires you. Just, yeah, just it's it's all good, right? You know, we're all trying to do better, be better, and and really just, you know, do things differently, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's time. And that's our yeah. motto, right? Yeah, just do things differently. Show yes. up differently. It's all good. Yes. Yeah. So um, I'm looking forward to that journey. Yeah, thanks yes. for being here. Thank you.